So my name is Powerhouse Hobbs. I am a professional wrestler for All Elite Wrestling. Very cool. Tell me a little bit about how you got into it. And you wrestled shows here in Sacramento. Yeah, I wrestled for a co company. Got on the big stage. I did. I did a lot of small indie shows here for SPW. Um, done shows for APW up in Woodland. Uh, me and professional wrestling. I, I kind of say I was destined to do it because my grandparents moved from a small town in Mississippi and they lived right across the street from the Cow Palace. So they would continue to go to shows every other weekend, see Pat Patterson, Ray Stevens, uh, The Rock's grandfather, High Chief Peter Maivia. So before I was even born, wrestling was in, in my household. So I knew at a young age, this is what I wanted to do and what I was meant to do. You've got a big match tomorrow. Yeah. What do you do to get your body and mind right before a big match like this? And is it safe to say this is the biggest match in your career? This, to date, this is the biggest match. It's uh, my first singles title opportunity. It's for the TNT Championship. Uh, Wardlow currently has it. Won it three, won it this past Sunday in uh, San Francisco at our pay-per-view revolution. So to get my myself ready, I just, I do my daily routine. Get my workouts in, do some meditation, uh, watch footage. It's just making sure my mind is right and my body's right. I want to talk about last week and uh, the face of the revolution. <laughs> You've got that title now. Yeah. There's a moment in that match where you're standing up there on top of a ladder with that ring in your hand, mm -hmm. thousands of people cheering. You're standing on top of a ladder in the middle of the ring. What's going through your mind in that moment? I'm home. There's, there's, there's nothing like performing in front of a live, live crowd, but when you're at home, that home field advantage, friends, family, your coworkers seeing you is, I literally felt like I was on top of the world. I was literally on the part of the ladder where it says, do not stand. Standing up there gracefully holding the, the golden brass ring. And I let the world know and I let Wardlow know that the title's coming to me. This is going to be, yeah, a yeah, huge match. It is. Talk about this stage in Sacramento. I've wrestled here in Sacramento before, um, not Ooh. on, not on a big stage like we're on for all elite wrestling. I've done smaller shows here, but I still consider Sacramento home. It's still the Bay Area. We're still in my backyard, Northern California, so I still have that home field advantage in going into this match. Now, I don't think this match will be like any ordinary match. There's a lot on the line. I have everything to gain in this match. Warlow has that TNT championship. That's what I have my eyes set on. So I know with uh, Sacramento behind me, it, it, it's, it's all the motivation I need. Mm. Less than 100 miles from yeah. where you grew up. Yeah. What, either way you look at it, East Palo Alto. East Palo Alto, or, Sacramento, or, Oakland, San Francisco, yeah. San Jose, it, it's, it's all mine. It's all in my backyard. Uh, you know, talk about what it's taken for you to get to this point. Mm -hmm. And um, you can go into as much or as little detail on this question as you like, because uh, I've seen this in other articles about your life, yeah. um, your family. You've been touched directly by, by gun violence. Yes. And no doubt you've had to rise above challenges in your way to reach this point. What's it mean to you to stand here? It means the world. Um, I was told I wouldn't be here, you know, just from where I grew up, you know, just being labeled being from East Palo Alto or being labeled from Oakland, you know, you won't live to see the age of 20. And, and I'm here accomplishing my goals. I have children, adults coming up to me and telling me how much I motivate them and what my story means to them. So I, I I don't mind having the world on my shoulders or carrying people on my back because I'm, I'm here for a reason and that's why I'm on this stage. And I, I personally believe that my story, my history, that there's someone else out there may, who may have went through the same thing and I'm, I'm, I'm here for them, here to motivate them. You see yourself as a role model. I do, I do. I, I have children. I have three children, so I have to be a role model. Um, what you see on television, the Monstar Powerhouse Hobbs, that, that's me, that's me. I, I, I don't hold back, I take everything I want, and but that, 
that's 100% me. What would it mean to you tomorrow when the dust settles to hold that championship belt? I can't even describe what I'm thinking, how I feel. Like, I, I, I can't put into words. Um, it will be emotional. And um, it, I'm going to set, set a new standard for the TNT championship. And make your pitch to those watching tonight. So, tomorrow night, Golden One Center. All Elite Wrestling will be in Sacramento for the first time. This is our second week here on the West Coast. Powerhouse Hobbs, homegrown talent, will be taking on the TNT champion Warlow, also a homegrown talent. This is going to be a match like no one has ever seen before. So All Elite Wrestling brings a different type of flavor to the world of professional wrestling. So if you haven't got your tickets, get your tickets. Don't be one of the, one of the few who say, I should have, could have, would have went. Because I'm telling you, I promise you, you will see things like you've never seen before.